was sent to me by Adam Bartichetti. At least I thought it was Bartichetti. That's what he told me last time, but this says Barrochetti. Uh, just pick a name or <laughs> if you guys want to send me fan mail, my P.O. box is right here. You you know no P.O. box 214 Owasso, Oklahoma 74055. This P.O. box as well as all the fan mail rules are down in the description of every single one of my videos. Adam is actually the guy who sent me the uh, signed uh, Ojama Trio in the last uh, fan mail installment. And uh, I actually have it right over here. You guys send me the coolest stuff. The absolute, the absolute coolest stuff. There's my Pegasus sign card, Ojama Trio sign card, you know, from last time and also in fan mail before I've gotten the, the coolest tokens. I mean, basically everything I keep in my deck box I've gotten from you guys. Yeah, everything in the middle part of my deck box, guys, came from you. My Egyptian God card tokens, my uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon token. These are my favorite tokens that I've ever had sent to me. They're so clean. They're so cool. The God cards are just classic. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, classic, you know. Pegasus, man, I got this in Chicago. I've talked about this card a lot. I've had these, the uh, Duelist Kingdom set, the OG Duelist Kingdom set sent to me. Uh, you know, these are my totems. I keep them with me in my deck box at all times. And uh, this has been added to that. This is Chaz Princeton, guys. This is Chaz it up right here. Um, and that was sent by Adam, like I've been talking about this whole time. And um, this is also sent by Adam. He sent me some old Yu-Gi-Oh! magazines today we're going to be looking at. So let's just get right into it. I've already talked ab about this enough. I just wanted to introduce Adam because he's already mailed to the channel before. And uh, I, I really appreciate it. He sent some really cool stuff and this isn't uh, stuff to keep mind you um, if, if you go over the fan mail rules I will send stuff back to you if you just want to show off some cool Yu-Gi-Oh stuff on the channel because that's really all I'm about I just want to see some cool Yu-Gi-Oh shit and show it to you guys that's all that's all it comes down to dude do you think you used enough tape though Jesus yeah I'm gonna cut through the box yeah I think that, that that'll be fine yeah I see a little divider there yeah let's do that there we go all right that's everything so he sent me some return packaging and that's one that's in the fan mail rules if you want stuff sent back to you um write down you know send me packaging in with your uh, parcel so that it gets right back to you you wrote down your own address you paid for your own shipping it, it gets back to you there's no confusion i like to keep fan mail very very simple you know very 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 simple i want everybody to get their stuff back and i want i just want to show off cool Yu Gi Oh shit. that's all that fan mail is about all right, Woo. he sent me a U-Bell. Looks like a Korean U-Bell, wow. These Beckett magazines, so really old Yu-Gi-Oh magazines, guys. Beckett unofficial collector magazines, Yu-Gi-Oh GX Dual Academy training guide, a Pojo Dual Academy training guide. We're gonna be looking through all of these in just one second. Let me read his letter. Dear Yugi Nono, what up? I'm glad you like the Ojama Trio I sent in last time. Here are some magazines about Yu-Gi-Oh. They are kind of old, but are interesting. I decided to send them in because you said you liked old Yu-Gi-Oh stuff to make content with. I, absolutely. I, I want to make co content out of all Yu-Gi-Oh stuff I can get. Like, you know what I mean? Yu -Gi -Oh, this is a Yu-Gi-Oh channel, right? I mean, except for the time that wasn't, but... Anyways, it's Yu-Gi-Oh channel. <laughs> I have included a return package that is prepaid so that after you are done, you can send them back. I'm super excited for that cyber deck coming out. I'm definitely going to buy three of them to make a deck out of. I am currently playing pure masked heroes and I'm still waiting for Konami to finish the archetype. And right here he's documented, uh, yeah, they're missing a, an earth and a light level six and a level eight fire. <laughs> I didn't know that. I remember, I do remember um, Vapor being, uh, you know, hard to find and being like a really good form change char target right when that um, structure deck came out you know in a duelist alliance format that was such a good structure deck oh my gosh i also saw your last video and bought an ldb dual red deck box it's fantastic yeah do i have one on the table still no i don't have the red one around me but yeah here's the black one right here yeah like i have the uh, looks like i have uh, my monarchs in here right now so yeah yeah they're good deck boxes man like uh, yeah i keep them around i mean uh, the uh, ultimate guard ones you know my my main one but you know they're they're really cool i like them a lot it's fantastic. I'm glad I ended up seeing that video. I've, oh, anyways, I've included a card that you can keep. It's probably my favorite card, U Bell. Thank you so much. Uh, I actually have a um, binder just full of uh, my Japanese and Korean cards. I have them in their own binder, so thank you so much. I actually do have a little collection of uh, you know OCG cards. Not a big one, but you know I got some cool stuff in there. 
um, once again, sent by you guys. <laughs> I sent by you guys, you know, and I'm just, it's, it's, I, I'm so appreciative. I'll show, I'll show you, uh, maybe even show that off when I put the card in there here in a minute. I'm hoping that Konami will make it into its own archetype someday. They might. Let's meme it into existence. Dude, I've already, I've already memed so many decks into existence, man. I kept Cyber Dragons alive long enough for them to come out with the, you know, with the, the support after the, uh, structure deck. Um, I don't know, man. I got Larvae Moth support. I got Pain, a Volcanic card, and he's still wanting Volcanic support. Like, yeah, people forget I already got him a Volcanic card. He just he just wants more because he's greedy. <laughs> but anyways, but I don't have my hopes up because Konami doesn't acknowledge GX for some reason. I can't wait to see more content from you in the future. Also, some of the books, mostly the GX guide, are somewhat fragile since I've had them since I was a kid, so please be careful. Absolutely. When I was taking the scissors to your box to open it, I was being careful, I promise. Adam Bartocetti. Bartocetti. Bart Bartocetti. Okay, 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 okay. But but on the package, it said Barrochetti. You need to pick a name. <laughs> Coming from, I'm telling him to pick a name when I'm like, Yugi, no, no, yes, yes, maybe, maybe, sometimes, sometimes, perhaps, perhaps, on occasion, on occasion. <laughs> P.S. Here is a QR code for my hero deck for the viewers. It's nothing not safe for work, I swear. So yeah, there it is if you, uh, I don't know, if you want it, uh, you know, there, boom. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why they ignore GX, because GX is actually low-key the best anime. Like, I still, the original's still my, my favorite, always, 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 always. I grew up with the original, you know? Um, but watching it all back, and I don't know if it's just because I've seen the original so much, but GX is actually really good. <laughs> like GX has like so many early 2000s like pop culture references and it's just it's it just reeks of a better time if you watch that anime. It's just such a good anime. Um, it, it's well written, the characters are cool, they're funny, there's callbacks to the original. Yeah, GX is, is like peak Yu-Gi-Oh, peak, peak Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, so I guess we'll do the Pojo guide first and then do the Beckett magazines. All right, here, let me take this off of here. Be very careful. Oh, all right, so here's my OCG binder. At the very beginning, first page, just this sexy bitch. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, I actually have a meme I need to post about her that I, that I made, actually, about this art that I made. Um, yeah, all the, uh, you know, alternate arts, uh, anniversary edition. I got since I've got sent some really cool stuff. Someone sent me a uh, DDD deck, an OCG complete DDD deck at one point, and that was really cool. They all ended up in here. Like all these cards, I don't even know if this card came out in English, I'm not sure. <laughs> like that card's really cool, I like the art of that one. Always did. Tune Blue Eyes, like just, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna spend too much time on my uh, OCG cards here, but um, you know, so I can get to the magazines. I just wanted to show them off, to show y'all, I guess that's where this one can go. Show y'all um, where your cards end up. You know, if you send me OCG cards, uh, you know, Japanese or Korean or Chinese cards, they all end up. And here, because uh, you can't play them in the States, so they're a separate collection, you know? Didn't realize I don't have my OCG cards sleeved. I should probably go back and sleeve these. There's there's a lot that are sleeved in here, though. Like, Alternate Kunai with Chain. This one's one, one of my favorite ones that I have. Tune Table of Contents. Tune Table. Yeah, just, just something cool, you know, for you guys. Just so much cool stuff I've gotten sent. Thank you. I, just, I can't thank you enough. Like, I mean... I guess I thank you by, you know, just, I still make content, I, I make Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, and I love Yu-Gi-Oh, and I keep the flame alive, I guess, that's, that's, how I, that's how I pay you all back or something. But, let's go over this unofficial, oh, it's the unofficial Yu-Gi-Oh GX Duel Academy Trainer's Guide, your very own GX Dueling Score Counters, <laughs> what? And this came out in 2007, this book's not sponsored, endorsed by, or otherwise affiliated with the companies. <laughs> Disclaimer, oh, this must have been a poster or something, you know? Yeah, like, oh, that's so cool. I miss these old magazines, these old kid magazines and stuff. Yu-Gi-Oh! keeps changing every year with our Pojo guides. We try our best to keep you up to date about all the changes in the Yu-Gi-Oh! world. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I'm just gonna kind of show off. You guys can pause and, and uh, look at, um, you know, each page if you want. I'm just gonna, here's Jaden's actual deck list. That's so cool. There's his, his full deck list. Get your game on. This is so nostalgic, guys. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I thought that, that they were just stuck together. I thought it was one of those pages that fold out, you know, in those old magazines. 
Oh, this is Chaz's deck with the Ojama. Is this with the Ojamas in it? Yeah, one Ojama Trio, Ojama Magic, Ojama Delta. He's got the uh, Dark Arm level dragons in there. Ah, uh, dark, dark, yeah, Arm Dark Dragons. I said Dark Arm level dragons. <laughs> Dark Arm Dragon, Dark Arm Level Dragon. <laughs> Mixed Dark Arm Dragon with Arm Dragon. <laughs> My bad. Arm Dragon le Level 3, 5, 7, 10. <laughs> dark Arm. Dark Arm to, le dark arm to Level dra uh, Dragon. Dark Arm to Metal Dragon. Uh, and before they do that crap, they probably will in the future. I don't know. It was Jinzo's Supernatural deck. Oh, I remember that episode. Yeah. Like, Jaden actually duels Jinzo himself. It's really cool stuff. Is this, what is this, Crowler's deck? Next, take a game on traditional format versus advanced format. Ah, so that's cool. It explains uh, how, uh, you know, traditional format cards can be played at one still. Yeah, nobody really plays it, though. But it's a, it's a cool format. Everyone just plays advanced format. Advanced format list, effective April 1st, 2006. Wow. Forbidden cards. There are no forbidden cards in this format. In 2006, you could play Feather Duster and stuff. So this is after GOAT format, because GOAT format's 2005 and you absolutely could not play Feather Duster. That's nuts. Yeah, there's there's a lot of limited cards. That, that This would be a really cool format. GX format. Maybe we should Maybe we should play that. Maybe we should bring it back. Top 30 cards in the new format. Graceful Charity, Heavy Storm, Sangan, Breaker, Snatch Steel, Call of the Haunted. Those are all goat cards so far. Mirror Force, MST, Spirit Reaper, Prima. These are all goat cards. Treeborn Frogs. Yeah, there you go. Now, there's the GX card starting to seep in. Treeborn Frog, Torrential. All right, all right, all right, all right. There's the GX cards. Because I was like, these are all goat cards. Every single one of these. Scapegoats, even. You know, Spy, Faith. There's Cyber Dragon right there. A great way to get an extra summon. It also beats down every normal monster in the game. <laughs> 2100 attack, too strong. Yeah, these are all GOATS cards, you know, except for, nope, there's a GX card. Avarice is a GX card. Very cool, very cool. So G you can see GX, you know, the GX cards start to seep into the already established meta around this time, you know, shortly after a GOAT format being early 2006. And this is, oh, I guess this is his uh, other deck list? Hold on, what is this? Yu-Gi-Oh! GX starter deck revamped. Oh, that's really clever. I just now noticed that. They have a tab, so there's the character decks, deck building. That's good. That's good stuff. Oh, man, there's the DDS blue eyes. Blue eyes, oh, man. Blue eyes shining dragon. Blue eyes ultimate dragon, which I actually showed off, you know, earlier in the video, or at least a token for it. I do have a couple of uh, original shut and jump uh, blue eyes ultimate dragons, though. I have two of them, but yes. Very cool stuff. Going over Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. This is so nostalgic. Yeah, I'm not gonna read every page. I don't want this video to be an hour long and I got I have three other magazines to go over here. So I'm just gonna kind of scroll through this, you know, like this is just a piece of Yu-Gi-Oh history I'm going over here that I'm documenting right now is all I'm trying to do. Man, tips for trading and collecting Yu-Gi-Oh cards, getting the most bang for your buck. Oh man, they were teaching them young. They were teaching them young. There are a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards out there. Thousands upon thousands of different cards are available to collectors and players alike. To younger or newer players, getting enough cards or the right cards to play can be a tough task. But there are some things you can do to get good cards, keep a good collection, and generally be an easier person to trade with. So here are a few tips that will help you to reach that point. Buy in bulk. Know what your cards are worth. <laughs> sort your collection. Have special collections. Yeah. Hopefully these tips will help help some newer players avoid some of the common mistakes that most players make when starting out. So here's some character biographies. It's got Meet the Cast. Uh, I wonder if it's got the names of the voice actors. It doesn't look like it does, but uh, it's got Cyrus, Alexis, Jaden, Chaz, Chumley. Bastion, Zane, it has all the character introductions. Crowler, their teacher, the chancellor. Very cool stuff. Let the classes begin. Man, this magazine is just, they used to make way high quality stuff back in the day, you know? They used to really, they made, stuff like this made childhood awesome, you know? Stuff like this made childhood awesome. I'm sorry if I'm scrolling too fast at the end. I really want to get to the other magazines here. Ultimate Masters World Championship 2006. Oh man, screenshots from that old game. Old Game Boy Advance games. <laughs> GX Duel Academy Game Boy Advance. 
Oh man, dungeon, oh, a dungeon dice monsters. <laughs> wow. I love how these magazines just have old word searches and uh, uh, crossword puzzles in here. They, 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 they just, oh my gosh, they just don't do that stuff anymore. And then this right here is like how to fold this into an avian. Oh, wow. Gave the kids activities to do and posters. Mmm. Very cool stuff. Very, very cool stuff. I don't want to split this into multiple videos. I just want this to be one video. Let's keep trucking. This right here is like holographic. Can you see that on the, uh, yeah, you can. You can see that on the camera. Look at that. <laughs> it's like Yami, like Yugi, Yami. <laughs> Exodia, you know, Pegasus. Oh, very, very cool. Display until August 12th, 2003, it says. This is very, very old. It's a Mega Man advertisement in there. Wow. This is like price listings. Gate Guardian Unlimited, 80 bucks. First Dead, 100 bucks. LOB, Legend of Blue Eyes, 30 bucks for a first dead. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's like a phone number. I wonder if these these people are even around anymore. That'd be, that'd be interesting to find out. It's got up to Labyrinth of Nightmare up here, the Yu-Gi-Oh 10s. Wow, all this product is worth so much money now. <laughs> it's so nostalgic. Very, very cool. Look out for Labyrinth of Nightmare. Yes. Oh, wow. What can you do with six feet of double bubble, double bubble advertisement? Oh yeah, the Harry Potter movies were starting to come out. Looks like this is a, uh, you know, Lego advertisements for, uh, you know, uh, Chamber of Secrets. Very cool. Yu-Gi-Oh! Hot list. Top 10 list of the most popular Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Exodia the Forbidden One. Red Eyes, Black Dragon? Gay Guardian. Like, not Blue Eyes, White Dragon? Okay, that's cool though. Gay Guardian, Raigeki. Uh, Relinquished, Jinzo, Blue Eyes, Ultimate Dragon, Gemini Elf, Mechanical Chaser, Tournament Pack 1, Mechanical Chaser. <laughs> Polymerization, super rare. Uh, if you'd like to vote for your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card, please email us at uygo at beckett.com. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, I wonder how much of this is like defunct now. Probably all of it. <laughs> Oh, uh, time is not kind. Like all thing, all good things come to an end, I guess. Just look at this. This, these are just advertisements for different shops. This David Adams Card World, hard to find for stead packs. Master combos. Oh, what? And it goes over combos and Labyrinth of Nightmare. Yeah, Tornado Bird bounces a card, so it's saying like com combine it with uh, Swords of Revealing Light. Mask of Restrict, you know, that's, that's, Mask of Restrict is relevant to this day, you know what I mean? You can use this against rituals, uh, making sure they can't, uh, you know, cards can't be tributed. Like, no tributing going on. You can really uh, screw people up with Mask of Restrict. Imperial Order, likewise, some of these cards are still relevant to this day. Revival Jam is one of my favorite cards of all time. And I have a, a Retro Pack Jam Defender. I wish I had more, because those are, <laughs> the Rival Jam and, uh, you know, Jam Defender, that's, that, 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 that's actually my favorite duel from the anime, is uh, Strings versus Yugi, and where you get Slifer. It's the best duel, and he, you know, he gets around the Revival Jam and all that. So awesome. Labyrinth of Nightmare cards. Spiritualism's a really cool card. This card can be useful to this day as well. Fusion Gate, Kaiku. Royal Command. These cards can all be useful. Royal Command uh, stops flip. Spiritualism uh, uh, return, like gets rid of a back row, returns a back row to your opponent's hand, and they can't respond to it. It's a spell speed four. Sp uh, yeah, Spiritualism is a spell speed four from Labyrinth of Nightmare. Look that card up. And um, Corey McDuffie played this, what was it, uh, 2014 Worlds with... Uh, What's his dick? I can't remember. They all played the same Infernity list, uh, and uh, they played. They cited spiritualism for artifacts and then whatnot. All these really cool Labyrinth of Nightmare cards. Look at that. You can even see the foil coming through on that on that scan. Wow. All the mask cards. That was a really good duel from the anime too. Yugi and uh, Yugi and Kaiba working together against those mask fools. You know, I don't know, I don't remember their names right now. No, I do. With Umbra, it's one Umbra. I, I can't. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Oh, torrential tribute, labyrinth of nightmare. Collector's cash. Whoa, this this store is still around. I've been to this store, guys. This store is in uh, Kansas. It's a. Uh, I mean, I live in Oklahoma. This store is actually in Kansas. This store right here is actually still around. Yeah, look. Right there, Kansas. <laughs> yeah, this store is for sure still around. I don't know about the other ones, but that one, I've, I've actually played at the store before. I've met people at that store. 
very cool. I've only been there once. I won't ever go to a tournament there again, though. Like, I won't. Uh, the reason why, I mean, it was a cool shop, but they hold regionals there just because it's a big shop. But they only have one bathroom, and they, uh, they combine, like, all the other businesses around there, they work together to, like, make sure you can't, you know, use the restroom in those other businesses unless you buy something. I just went and took a piss anyways. I was like, you're not going to stop me or I'm going to hit you. <laughs> so I just did what I wanted like I always do. But uh, anyways, first head jar of greeds. I want those. I need super jars so bad, so bad. The jar of greeds one of my favorite cards in Go. So, so, so good. Like low key. Like that, that card is so underrated in Go. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I like it, what suck. What sucks though is like you can't play it. it. Like you want to play it in everything, but you can't. It just doesn't work as well as you want it to. But then other times it does, and it's a frustrating card. But that card is awesome. Uh, looks like this is a bunch of man. Look, imagine having those. Uh, OC these old, old uh, OCG cards, the original God cards. Mm mm mm. I actually do have an original uh, Wing Dragon of Raw, but I don't have the other two. I should get them. Uh, Jalgen, the Spiritualist, that card's still useful. Kaiku, I mean, some of these cards are still used to this day. This card could be used to this day because you can remove a fire from your graveyard. Summoner of Illusions has a really cool um, extra deck summon effect, but it's a flip, so it's slow. Just, oh, uh, wow, Rock Spirit could be used to this day. Banish an Earth, you know, summon it. Some of these old cards, you know, Last Warrior from Another Planet, if you summon this guy, you're probably going to win because your opponent can't summon or do jack shit. <laughs> You know, some of these old cards, they actually still have power to this day, you know? Man, this is one of my favorite card arts ever. Dark Spirit of the Silence, when it comes to old card arts. Like, all the old card arts, really, this one even is awesome. Like, old card art is the best, especially on old uh, spell and trap cards. They're just awesome. Like, look at all of these. They're beautiful. They're just really cool and dark. They're they're awesome. They're, they're just the best. You can't beat them. A new type of contest. So I guess you tear this out and uh, mail it. Yeah, <laughs> you would. Uh, you'd mail it here. Wow. Try to win a free box of Labyrinth of Nightmare. Wonder if we can still win it. <laughs> oh, look at these. All these o OCG cards. Fuchio Richie. Oh my gosh. These are awesome. I'm not trying to, you know, like rip the spine here. I just want to show off these inside cards for the camera. You know, try to take care of this because these magazines are, you know, very old. The cover of this said, display it until 2003. <laughs> More Game Boy game advertisements. Man, I never played the Yu-Gi-Oh! Game Boy games. My friends had them and I'd play with them, you know, but I never, I never had them. I did have uh, Yu-Gi! The Destiny for PC, but I didn't screw with that until high school, actually. When I was like, or I know it was after high school when I was getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was just, you know, messing around uh, with the cards, just trying to relearn the game and whatnot. Oh man, so this is another giveaway. Choose to win Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition for Game Boy Advance! <laughs> it's another giveaway here. It uh, looks like this might be one of those... Oh, look, look at that, look at that. The Yu-Gi-Oh! God cards, the history and usage of God cards. What is a God card? In the TV show, Pegasus discovered the existence of the God cards in Egypt. The ancient, Egyptian used, ancient Egyptians used the stone tablet and sealed the power of the God cards within it. Pegasus released that power and created three God cards. Nevertheless, Pegasus realized the power of God cards might go against him in the future, so he buried the god cards in, in the tomb in Egypt. Later, Yugi finds out that if he wants to unlock his forbidden memories, he must collect seven millennium items and the three god cards. Oh yeah, and it looks like this is like a, uh, a s'mores advertisement, s'mores cereal advertisement. Uh, and it's like this is another one of those fold things. But how to use god cards in the game? Similar to two monsters, god cards have several rules in order to play legally in a duel. You must first tribute three monster cards on the field to, to tribute summon a god card. And I remember these rules being like legendary when you're a kid. You know, these, this is like legend. Like when you when you when you treat like when you're a kid and you treat the god cards as having their anime effects and stuff, it this like you follow these rules like it's a religion. <laughs> you know what I mean? Any card effects may affect a god card for one turn only, even if it has a permanent effect. That's a type. Even it has a permanent effect. Even if it has a permanent effect, that's a mistype right there. For example, if you special summon a god card from the graveyard to the field, at the end of the turn, the god card will be destroyed and put onto the graveyard. Unless those card effects destroy a god card on the field, card effects can affect the god card for one turn only. For example, your opponent can use LOB053 Regeki on your god card. The god card is destroyed and it won't be reborn at the end of turn. And then Slifer the Sky Dragon, aka Osiris, Obelisk the Tormentor. Oh. 
and the wing dragon of raw. So Slifer gains attack for every uh, card in your hand. When your opponent uh, normal spe normal or special summons, are uh, including excluding flip summon a monster card and face up attack position, decrease the attack of your opponent's monster by 2,000 points. <laughs> Stuff like that. If your opponent special summons a monster and face up defense position, decrease the, <laughs> the defense of your opponent's monster by 2,000 points. They gave it, you know, an anime effect. Uh, except uh, I think immediately when something was summoned in the anime, you know, uh, uh, Slifer would blow it up. And the obelisk is like impervious to everything. <laughs> like uh, Raw lets you pay, yeah, pay any amount of life points for activation costs and increase and increase Sun Dragon Raw's attack and defense by the number of life points you paid for activation costs. So you can pay 7,999 life points and have like nearly 8,000 attack. Oh. Yugi versus Duke Devlin. <laughs> I, I just think of a, of a Yu-Gi-Oh bridge every time I think of Duke Devlin. <laughs> like every time. Ooh, Yu-Gi-Oh art gallery. What is this? Oh man, this is a poster. This is a poster that's still in here. Yo, it's a poster of the cover of the magazine that's still in here. That is tight. That is way tight. That is rare to come across these old magazines and have the poster still in here. Cause kids, that I mean, I know I went straight for that and immediately put it on my wall, like any cool poster, you know. And this, all these cool fan art, you know. Uh, this reminds me of the stuff you guys sent me. <laughs> I have actually a box in my closet filled with uh, all y'all's fan art, and you know, most most of the time y'all draw me. <laughs> but uh, I've, I've got I've got uh, drawings of you know actual Yu-Gi-Oh monsters and stuff too. It's really cool. And I actually have um, you guys have seen uh, custom mats. You know the mat wall over there. I have uh, some mats uh, that were hand drawn by people and sent to me. Very 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 cool. Legacy of Darkness, Santa Monica sports cards. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at this, a cool carrying case for figurines and whatnot. Oh, wow, that's, that is that's a really cool old Yu-Gi-Oh carrying case. Now we got uh, uh, Jim making backpacks and stuff now. I don't think, I can't think of anybody else that's making uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh accessories now except for Jim. Oh, well, and Metamat's making the best mats, but yeah, um, Jim makes uh, really good backpacks. I have a couple of their backpacks. I should go back to this because this is a really cool price guide checklist. Um, I don't know how much you could see on the camera, but uh, yeah, this is just dope. Like all these, just looking like at all this history here. Here's the McDonald's promotional packs right there. Each pack contains two exclusive cards and CD-ROM. Yeah. Oh, I think, uh, yeah, it was uh, Cyber Knight. Cyber Knight's opens up some of those on his channel before. I don't know how many more unopened McDonald's packs there are out there, but uh, if you have some, they are, they are worth some money for sure. And here's uh, more uh, card prices just in the back. The card prices moved so fast back in the day. And they said, they, I mean, think about how fast they moved today. That's why these never stick around. This is a really cool card. This is a, a tournament pack card that I don't think ever got reprinted. It's got really, really beautiful artwork. A lot of these old cards, the, the old cards have the, have the best artwork. You, you can't change my mind. Um, especially like in, you know, in comparison to the later years where they, might, they started making performer pack. <laughs> crap and this dry brigade crap that looks anything but Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, like at least performer pals look closer to Yu-Gi-Oh than the dry brigade stuff or, you know, burning abyss stuff. An amazing sight, an amazing sight, that pun, back at anime.com. Wow, Beyblade, Vegeta, Mewtwo, Yugi, Hot Wheels, there's Hot Wheels cars in here. Oh, One Piece, oh, don't start watching One Piece. There's so many episodes that's still going, don't start watching it. <laughs> Beyblade. And yeah, that's the last page right there. Anime and comics convention calendar. Look at all this history right there. And it looks like, oh, this is like a, uh, who's in the Neopets? I love Neopets, what is this? It's like a survey kind of thing or whatever. Yeah, 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 survey. I mean, you mail your survey and, uh, for the contest. Wow. That's a cool first magazine here. Let me set this over here. This one's got Red Eyes Black Dragon on it. October 7th, 2003. No, this one's from April, May, 2007. Display until June 12th, 2007. So this one's the newest one. We'll go over that one last. Wow, this one's gonna be more really old, like Labyrinth of Nightmare. It's gonna be more of the same. Uh, Labyrinth is gonna have a lot of Labyrinth of Nightmare, uh, Pharaoh Servant stuff here. I should probably like show this first page a little longer because that was Magic the Gathering. A lot of you guys play Magic. I never really messed with it, but man, I know that's still nostalgic for everybody here probably. 
Just look at all this cool stuff. Man, they're still advertising baseball cards, man. I, I don't know anybody who buys baseball cards anymore. My dad's got a ton of old ones, and I bet some of them are worth money. He never got rid of any of his old baseball cards, but uh, I don't know anybody that buys baseball cards, though, so I don't know how much they're actually worth. Dark Sage. Yeah, anime, anime and comics convention calendar. There it is. Injection Fairy Lily. I have this card, First Dead. I have a lot of these cards, actually. I have Spear Dragon. I have Relinquished. I mean, I have so many of these cards. Dragons Descend Upon Darkness. Legacy of Darkness. We saw that advertised in the last magazine and this right here. They're showing off a lot of the cards. Thunder Nian Nian. Ashura Priest. Such a good card. Oh. Giant Long Nose. <laughs> Dragon Manipulator. Dark Bolter the Terrible. Dark Ruler Hades. Possessed Dark Soul. Lesser Fiend. This is one of my favorite sets is Legacy of Darkness because there's so many cool fiend cards in here. Double Snare is actually a very good card in GOAT format. So select one base up trap card in the field that has the effect that negates trap cards, effects, and destroy it. So MST is at one, Heavy Storm is at one. You know, you can play Dust Tornado, but Dust Tornado is a trap card. So you play Double Snare. Double Snare, um, I mean, you got Breaker, of course, but uh, Double Snare gets rid of a Royal Decree. Yep, gets rid of Royal Decree. Very good card. Very good side deck card for burn because people will side, if you're playing burn and goat, people will side decree against you. If I was to build a goat, a, a goat burn deck, um, knowing, you know, knowing what I know and playing goat as much as I do, um, if I was, if I were to build a burn deck, I would side double snare for um, roll decree because roll decree, everybody sides roll decree and goat. If you don't, you're bad because burn is insanely good and so are uh, other random uh, decks like uh, skill drain decks and whatnot. You can get wrecked by those decks. Uh, Real, De Real Decree is just a very, very, very it's one of, it, it might be the best side deck card in GOATS. I mean, it's it's fantastic. Trap Dust Shoot's another really good one if you know you're going first. But uh, I digress. I'm supposed to be talking about this magazine. <laughs> I'm just enjoying, I mean, I'm just talking about GOATS, you know, and enjoying, uh, you know, uh, uh, all this nostalgia here. Twin Headed Behemoth, I, I keep wanting to put in decks so bad because it, it's a floater and those are so rare in GOATS. Like, this kind of floater anyway so uh, you can play uh, tomato and stuff that needs to be destroyed by battle but that one I will you know trigger all the time it's pretty cool uh, play uh, all the monarch players play it all the monarch decks play it for sure I just keep trying to find reasons to play it and other stuff because it's such a cool card oh wow all these just beautiful beautiful artworks heart of clear water after genocide finishing mirror spring of rebirth spring of rebirth I was talking about that last magazine Magic Reflector is a card you can still use to this day. Select one magic card that remains face up on your side of the field and put one counter on it. The selected card will be destroyed. Destroy the counter instead. So, uh, you know, put it on uh, Field Barrier. <laughs> Keep your mind alive. Creature Swaps, another card that could be used. Smoke Grenade of the, thief, of the Thief. I think that card's banned, isn't it? <laughs> they finally banned it. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, Smoke Grenade of the Thief is a nasty card in Goats. Drop Off's a really cool card. This card is awesome. I, need, I, I wish I had supers of that, too. These cards are just beautiful, beautiful. Tournament winning Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG decks. What? Baz two Bazoo. Wow. Maining Nimble Amanga, huh? That's so fantastic. That's, that's that's so interesting. This like, oh my gosh. This is this is this is fantastic, guys. Like these old deck lists. This is wonderful. 2003 deck lists. I mean, a lot of these cards like were still used up until you know 2005, you know, for goat format. Oh, here's the old <laughs> Ultra Pro is ultra cool. Let's do, man. The old Ultra Pro deck boxes. This is insane. They've been around that long. Wow. 2003, 2003, guys. Look at that. Like this uh, case again. I guess this is Ultra Pro. I guess that was Ultra Pro in the last one. They made that because that's the that same uh, same bag, same pictures even. Wow. Neopets. Oh my gosh. Uh, I never had Neopets. I'm sure some of you guys did. Just pure nostalgia here. You get yo a five dollar Yugi coupon still in here. I wonder if I can cash this in. <laughs> Pokeyorder.com. I wonder if that's still around. Shop online at the world's largest Yu-Gi-Oh card superstore, PokeOrder.com. Man, I wonder if that's still around. Dungeon Dice Monsters again. A new item is revealed. Oh, and this is the, the Millennium items. 
It just goes over the show, you know, where the, where the show's at. It's beautiful. Transformers. Uh, ultimate episodes. Don't miss a minute of the early Yu-Gi-Oh! episodes. Oh, so these are like... Order your yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! videos and DVDs today by using the order form below. Oh, these would be so dope. These would be so dope to have. I actually do have uh, box sets of the first three seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! I need to get four and five, but I have uh, uh, the first three seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh! on DVD. And those uh, come in handy because every now and then I'll like, you know, rip a clip. Hidden Soldier, I have never seen this card before. You can activate this card when your opponent summoned a monster, including flip summon special summon. You may special summon a level four or less dark type from your hand to the field. Man, I have never seen that card before, and that's an ultra rare? That is nuts. I've never seen that card. Did that card get printed here? Hot Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh promos. I saw that. I don't I have never seen that card. That is that is way cool. That's another that's another thing. Another reason to go over these old magazines. Like there's so many cards that you could that have been overlooked that have come out over the years. I mean, I can't tell you the cards that came out in the last set, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, and there's the more fan art. That's a really good Yu-Gi. That's a really really good Yu-Gi. That's another good Yu-Gi. That's a good Joey. That's uh, about as good of an Exodia looking up as you can draw as a kid. That's actually really good. <laughs> oh. And those are the God cards. That's good art. That's, that's really good art. Wow. Veronic Guardian. This is like an advertisement of the Santa Monica. Same, same store advertising what they got. More Yu-Gi-Oh art. This, this art's really cool. <laughs> this art's really, really cool. Yeah, if you guys send me your, your art, I will definitely show it off in this, you know, fan series that, like, I've always done. If y'all want to send me that stuff, I will show it off. You know, if I get enough of it, I will make an episode about it. You know, because I don't do fan mail every Monday anymore. I just kind of do them as I get uh, cool stuff. God card sets. Each box set includes all three... Rare foil god cards in the Game Boy Advance game now in stock. Uh, man, the god cards when you were a kid, guys, like, oh, that, that, was, that was, if you had the god cards, it was like, no, nah, it was better than having a Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, it was better. <laughs> you know, it was like, by the time Yu-Gi-Oh rolled around and was popular, if you had the god cards, you were god, or <laughs> whatever, the playground, you know, you're king of the playground. Uh, a lot of these cards, man, like, they just, you, this card could see play to this day, really. Some of these cards really could. Others, not so much. <laughs> Wicked Worm Beast is actually fantastic in 2002 format. And this card could be played to this day. Sinju, it's not as good as Manju, but you know, could be played, you know. Uh, worse Manju, worse, uh, you know, uh, uh, Herald, uh, Oracle of the Herald or whatever. Big Shield Garden. Uh, these, oh, look at, look at this. Yu-Gi-Oh! Zip Around, Game Boy Holder, Yu-Gi-Oh! Kits, oh my gosh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Poster Puzzle. This stuff's awesome! This stuff's way cool! I wish I had this stuff. I wish I had this stuff so bad. I'm so happy when you guys send me, like, this old Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff, like these magazines, so I can, you know, at least look at it, reminisce, you know show it off you know for other people and record it like i am right now yeah lots of lots of card shop advertisements in here buy cards buy cards buy cards Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> and here's like some more uh combos card to save return spear cretin there's a spear cretin loop yeah <laughs> pure mermaid plus messenger of peace cannon soldier jam breeding machine jars uh, his card to save return spear cretin because the spear cretin loop it'll you know if you have a spear cretin in your grave spear cretin just back and forth back and forth back and forth and that's saying like with card to save for turn, you just draw cards. <laughs> that's nasty. That's nasty. And that's infinite draw. Yeah, card combo. Infinite draw. <laughs> uh, notorious. Yeah, old loops. Loops and Yu-Gi-Oh have been around for a long time. Loops and exploits have been around since the beginning, you know. Uh, Defusion's a card that can be played this day. Change of Heart would absolutely be played in every deck these days, but it's banned. <laughs> oh, look at that. Another survey in the back. Win more stuff. What was your favorite section of the magazine? What Yu-Gi-Oh character would you like to see on the cover? Seto Kaiba, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maximilian Pegasus, probably for me. All right, last magazine. Elemental Hero, Air Neos. And this is actually textured. 
Like, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, collector's cash, like I already talked about them. Yeah, still in Kansas. Still in Kansas. Strike of Neos, the secret is out. The biggest news of the year has to be the return of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Secret Rares. The return, oh, I guess they didn't make Secret Rares for a little bit. I forgot about that or didn't know about that. The newest set, Strike of Neos, surprised many fans and hobby shops when Secret Rare cards started showing up in the packs. Wow, that's, see, I just learned something. Oh, and look at the advertisements for other magazines. Oh, Cyber, Cyber End Dragon right there. Cyber End Dragon, World Championship 2007. <laughs> it comes with gel and duo, I guess. Yeah. Oh, no. Few, oh, a few surprises in Strike of Neos. Oh, it didn't come with a card. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'm sure it came with a card. Yeah. Three limited edition official game cards inside. Yeah, I'm sure it has to come with some free cards. Uh, all those did. All these, like, I want to read all of these so bad, but I don't have enough camera life. I don't have enough battery life. And uh, I don't want the runtime to be, you know, a, I don't want this to be a two hour video or anything. I want to read all of these fan letters and stuff so bad, though. So bad. Uh, in one of your recent issues with Chimera Tech Over Dragon on it, I read a fan letter, fan letter from a girl who sits in a deck ID I thought was cool, so I decided to write in myself. I love to play Yu-Gi-Oh! I have a really cool dragon deck, and <laughs> I, 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 I want to read it all, like, uh, this reminds me of, like, the fan mail you guys send me, you know? Like, uh, here's my deck, you know, this is why I play, I watch your channel, you know, and I'm just like, yeah, this is awesome, I'd like to play Yu-Gi-Oh! too. <laughs> Uh, we're just all like, you know, trying to be kids here. So this is 2007, Newly Forbidden, Breaker, Charity, Faith, Last Will, Victory Dragon, Band on this list. Wow, 2007 list. Newly Limited, you can only play two DD Assailant per deck. Oh, too strong. Only play one, Snatch, Steal, one. Yeah, Grandma was such a cool card. It, Grandma could still be played to this day, actually, low-key. Like, it's an annoying card, and it, it just keeps coming back. It just keeps coming and coming and coming. Newly Unlimited, three. You can play three Exiled Force. That's busted. Man, I wish you could play three Exiled Force and Goats. I'd never lose. <laughs> and here's a full list of the Forbidden cards, Limited cards, Semi-Limited cards. Insane. I actually kind of want to look at that a little more. What other limited cards were on here? Seize Fire, Chain Strike, Confiscation, Crush Card, Stratos. Oh man, Stratos been getting hate for so long. <laughs> Since back in the day, Stratos was getting hate. Uh, it's a three now, finally, you know. That was a meme in our community for so long. Free Stratos. <laughs> Strike of Neos, Player's Guide. Gene Harped Warwolf, yeah, it's got like 2,000 attack. I remember that. I remember thinking that card was just beast back in the day, you know, and I didn't know any better. I guess it is a beast or a beast warrior, so I guess I didn't know better. I don't know. It depends on how you look at it. Uh, go, go, gadget, beat down. Call Robbie Cole, somebody. <laughs> Call him Cole 40. Go, go, gadget, beat down. Uh, and actually, um, around this time. Was it, when was Teledad format? No, the Teledad wasn't in 2008. That was in 2008. In 2008 is when uh, Robbie, uh, you know, M. Cole 40, big M. Cole 40, he topped, or won, a, he won or got top eight or second place. I can't remember, but it was in 2008 during uh, Teledad format, and it was with gadgets. Decky still plays. The surprising seventh rider. So this is just going over the. Uh, Plot points of the GX anime. Building a cheap tournament level deck. Man, the struggle's been real since the beginning, huh? It has been real since the beginning. Smashing Ground. Smashing Ground's a really good card in Goats, too. Like freaking Smash, Zalook. You know, get rid of anything. Get rid of, uh, you know, uh, Gardeners, uh, uh, Spirit Reapers, anything. That's another really good side deck card in Goats. Oh, man. That Over Dragon. That's just a cool, that's cool art. Ah, speaking of arts. Wow, Petite Dragon, Beta the Magnet Warrior. This is a really cool card. This card's called Getsu Fuma, I think, and it's like a, uh, it's a card that has potential. I think that that's what I'm thinking of. It's a card that has potential in Goats, um, but it doesn't see play. That's a, that's another card for the Warrior Toolbox, if it's the card that um, I'm thinking of. Seto Kaiba, Bersinitrix, it's a good Bersinitrix. All the Yugis, the Kaibas. All these Yugi's are dope. There's Yugi with Slifer. That's really good. Oh, Cyber and Dragon. Oh man, and this isn't Soul Charge. This is No One Void. Yeah, No One Void. That's a cool card. And this is, uh, oh man, Raphael. Strike of Neos again. Don't wait. Order today. <laughs> win a first, win a Yu-Gi-Oh! Strike of Neos first edition booster box. Another giveaway. 
Uh, the beginning of the end, and the stage is set for the arrival of Zork. Oh, man. This is just art from the uh, fifth season of Yu-Gi-Oh! Actually, yeah, that, that's the season I've seen the least. I, I, I'm pretty sure everyone's the same way, too, uh, because that's, it gets, there's like an ancient Egypt and stuff, and it's, I mean, it's cool. They end the show very epically, very well, but for me, like, the peak was um, darts, like season four, Waking the Dragons or Battle City. Th those were just... I mean, the whole show is fantastic. There's nothing but just pure nostalgia, you know, for, for all of us kids. But uh, yeah, uh, Waking the Dragons will always be my favorite one. Sea of Oricalcos, that's why I have the Sea of Oricalcos on my channel to this day. Ask the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master welcoming the new rulings. Deck Devastation Virus require... Does Deck Devastation Virus require an original attack of 2,000 or more? Or can the Tribute's attack be modified so dark monsters with lower attacks than 2,000 be tributed? Answer, you can raise the monster's attack. Deck Dev looks at current attack power, not original attack power. That is right. If it says original attack, then it goes by original attack. Is that that pheromone guy? Is he, has he been around that long? <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys have seen him on YouTube and Twitter and crap, but he, like, cosplays as, like, Yugi and, uh, uh, usually, uh, Pegasus. Usually Pegasus. I've seen him around. I uh, actually commented on one of his, uh, replied to one of his tweets one time. Pretty cool guy. Happy anniversary. This year we'd like to wish Yu-Gi-Oh's creator, Kazuki Takahashi, a very happy anniversary. Wow. Very, very cool stuff. And this, uh, the Wii was out. Man, this takes me back. Wow. Wow. Man, I missed out on Yu-Gi-Oh! around this time. I really, really did. I didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh! again until after high school, man. Like, I watched the show I played when I was, like, like in middle school. And I just did not touch it again until after high school. And, you know, when it was nostalgic for me. And it's still nostalgic for me, you know? It's like, like after high school is nostalgic for me now because I'm getting old. <laughs> and I'm just uh, flipping through this because we've already seen this a couple times. This is just price guide. I mean, I can hold this up so you guys can see the small print, but uh, I don't think you're going to be able to see it anyways. You can see the cards just fine. Um, I'm just kind of flipping through here. Dark Worlds are out. Wow. Gosh, that's crazy how long some of these cards have been, ar been around. Like... I, it's hard to it's hard for me to comprehend how long uh, Dark Worlds and a lot of other um, decks have been around. How long uh, Yu-Gi-Oh has been around? It's like it, it's, it moves so it's it's weird how Yu-Gi-Oh moves so slow but so fast at the same time. Like a lot of the same cards will be used, you know, and a lot of the same cards are our favorites and we'll keep getting support. But then they'll shit out like stuff we don't remember like every other week, <laughs> and I'm just like, why? <laughs> Um, these are these are all really cool cards, really cool card arts. I really like to see these OCG cards that I've never seen before. This is still in here. Nobody mailed this in to try to win it. Nobody mailed this in. I can't believe this is still in here. I wonder if you can uh, still win. I wonder. I'm going to put this back. This isn't my magazine, <laughs> but that is, that is dope. Magic the Gathering stuff, more price guide stuff. Might be some more fan art back here again. The SGC, the Shunna Jump uh, Championship Series, Rusty Bucket of Bolts. One turn kill thrives despite the Cyberstein ban. <laughs> oh! Cyber and Dragon, what is Power Bond around? Wait, what, are they, what are they playing? Spells, Overload Fusion. Ah, Future Fusion, that's what they're doing. Future Fusion, Overload Fusion, no Power Bond. Uh, but that's how they're doing it. Uh, overload Fusion. Go into uh, Chimera Tech Over Dragon and screw things up. This is just, you know, more video game advertisement stuff. Warrior advertisement. GX monsters are running loose in these sets. <laughs> and this is uh, Becca, Becca Yu-Gi-Oh! Marketplace. Oh man, I remember that set. That uh, gold-plated set. I think, uh, I think uh, Cyber Knight might have opened that once. And more uh, Ultra Pro advertisements and Beckett uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Magazine advertisement back here. A Yu-Gi-Oh! PlayStation controller. That is, yeah, that's, uh, or uh, is that a PlayStation or is that, uh, I don't, yeah, yeah, PlayStation 2 controller. That is a Yu-Gi-Oh! PlayStation controller. You're, you're not an OG unless you had a Yu-Gi-Oh! PlayStation controller. Oh my gosh, that is nuts. Who's got that? Somebody send me that to show off, please. <laughs> oh my god. And here's the hot list. Here's our picks for the top 10 Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. Dimension Fusion, <laughs> number one. Man, this is just, this is so cool. When Strike of Neos inside. Wow. All right, Adam. That is everything. 
Thank you so much for sending me these and allowing me to show these off on my channel. Once again, guys, if you want to send me your cool Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, um, the P.O. box is down in the description as well as the fan mail rules. All that's down in the description of every single one of my videos. Um, Adam, thank you again. You are you are king. Thank you for all this stuff. Pick a name already. <laughs> uh, these are so dope. Um, I'll mail these back to you soon. Um, thank you so much for letting me, uh, you know, share this nostalgia with everybody. Let me share this on my channel. Um, and that goes for all of you guys. Um, you know, thanks ahead of time for anybody who sends me stuff and allows me to share cool stuff. I will take care of your stuff and uh, mail it back. You can message me on Discord, uh, Twitter, Facebook, and stay in communication with me. Uh, I don't give immediate responses, but I do communicate uh, when I communicate. I do communicate every day. Um, I just, I don't like my phone to have notifications. I message people when I feel like messaging people. <laughs> so... That is gonna be the end of the video, guys. Thank you all so much again. I love getting this cool shit. It is just, it really does j just generate just nostalgia feelings in my head, you know? It's just, it takes me back. It makes me wanna go back in time and just, you know, buy all this stuff and just hold on to it to this day so I have even more cool Yu-Gi-Oh shit in my Yu-Gi-Oh room, you know? But uh, all that being said, it is time for you to dick slap the like button and subscribe. Dick slap. Man, this is cool. So cool. Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs>